So we know you're there, Georgie boy. So we know you're in the shot. Hi everyone and welcome to iPhotography. If you've got a friend or family member who's graduated this year and hasn't been able to attend any sort of celebration, we've got the perfect photo shoot ideas for you. Join us for some quirky, creative and unique techniques to get awesome prom shots on a budget. So first off, we've got the lovely Nicola in today who unfortunately couldn't attend the graduation ceremony because of the pandemic this year. So we're gonna get some nice headshots for her. So I think for this shot, we're gonna focus on some detail on the, around the cap, especially with this 2020 little symbol there. I think that's quite cute. It's quite important if you know your subjects to check close up for any stray hairs, um, as these can be an absolute nightmare to take out in editing. So if you can, just make sure they're all off her face and out of her eyes in particular. So let's get some shots. I'm just gonna come in a tiny bit closer if you could look towards the light for me. And to the light again. A big smile. Lovely. And just one more. So let's get some more fun shots, I think. So let's try doing some confetti. Uh, you ready? Three, two, one. And three, two, one. Lovely, got it, fabulous. Again, just to have a little celebration, we're gonna throw all of our paperwork in the air. <laughs> um, so for this type of shot, I'm gonna use a burst mode so that I can capture every single set of the images. I'm also shooting at around one two fifth of a second, so it's pretty fast, um, but I've got studio lighting to compensate that. And my aperture is around about 3.2 because really we're just focusing on Nicola's face. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> <The dog. laughs> awesome. You're gonna look a bit too cheesy now. <laughs> Let's try one more. I really like that kind of movement all around you. And whenever you're ready, three, two, one. <laughs> I think I missed that. <laughs> Okay, and smile. That's really nice. Can you take a tiny half step forwards? If you can hold them. It's not as wide as I thought. Mm. So if you could hold this side. And move this tripod out the way as well. And then this side. And I'll try and get more of a full length. Beautiful, that's lovely. And if you just push your arms forwards ever so slightly, yeah, perfect, just to lose that shadow on your body. So I think that's all we'll do for inside. And I think we'll try some of these shots again, maybe with a few other quirky angles outside. So follow me and let's go. So I'm going to bring my aperture to about 5.6 because we're outside. It's quite an overcast day, so it's, it's bright light. And I want to make sure uh, that Nicola is, her whole body is in focus. So three, two, one. <laughs> and let's just try that again. You, I know it's hard to do. But can you try and not worry about it falling on you? Yeah. Three, two, one. Perfect, got it that time, definitely. And I'm just gonna, if you do it again, I'm just gonna get it from a lower angle from behind, just to get that kind of movement. Three, two, one. Got it, perfect. I love that. Oh, that's good. I like the way the toss is like going in the eye. Yeah, that's really cool. 
So hopefully you got some tips from this video on how to take your own graduation shots on a budget. Nothing we've done is expensive or undoable and hopefully it goes to show that you can do it without a professional. If you'd like to see more videos from my photography, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, everywhere. If you'd like any more information on our blogs, check out the comments below. There's more descriptions there about our courses as well. And we hope to see you in the iPhotography Gallery soon.